Are you tired of feeling like your desires in the bedroom are being overlooked or your relationship needs are going unmet? Is your anticipated DS dynamic crumbling under the weight of unspoken expectations or chronic disappointment? Do you feel like you're letting your kinky partner down or no amount of player dominance is enough for them? This is often the toxic cocktail created when a pseudo submissive uses their role of submission as a guise to control and manipulate their way into getting their fantasies. And if you can relate, stay tuned today as I lay out a new approach to erotic exploration and kinky play that checks entitlement at the door and benefits everyone involved. If you're new to this channel, hello and welcome. I'm Miss LX and I'm so glad you're here because this channel is all about equipping you with the wisdom to dominate in every area of life and love. And part of that is about getting to the why behind the what. I also refer to this principle as the root and the fruit. That is, if your relationship tree is producing rotten fruit, we need to get to the root of what's causing the decay. And in the case of a dysfunctional DS dynamic with a pseudo submissive, someone who claims to be submissive but is incapable of surrender because they're so focused on obtaining their own erotic, sexual, or relationship desires and fantasies, this is the mentality that leads to treating your partner like a sex or kink dispenser. And it's this mentality that must be addressed before we get into these toxic traits. And often this mentality is driven by a desire for control and a subsequent manipulation in the relationship. They may use the idea of submission to gain power over their partner and meet their own needs. And obviously this mentality can harm the relationship as it's not based on mutual respect and collaboration but on one person, the pseudo submissive's selfish desires. By producing a one-sided agenda, the pseudo submissive is putting pressure on their partner. Do you feel it? Have you been there, dominance? Where you feel this pressure to fulfill their needs, which can lead to a strained connection if those needs are unmet. It's like pitting you against one another. And this subconsciously turns partners against one another. In essence, the pseudo submissive uses the DS dynamic to get what they want rather than seeking a mutually fulfilling agenda for both partners that will benefit the relationship as a whole. The contrast to this is when a submissive approaches the relationship with mutual respect and a sense of collaboration as they look for mutually fulfilling ways to erotically explore and connect. The healthy submissive is absolutely interested in the DS dynamic and kinky play, but they approach it with a desire to explore and connect with their partner in a way that's fulfilling for each of them. By producing a collaborative agenda, the healthy submissive is encouraging both partners to explore their desires in their own way without the pressure or coercion of the alternative strategy. And that's the most important part and something you must understand, submissives. Making your dominant feel guilty for not playing or not playing enough will make them feel less dominant and further reduce your chances of subspace. All right, the more you critique and nitpick and share feedback on how your dominant can be better the next time, will make them feel less dominant and further reduce your chances of subspace. The more you bombard them with books and videos and courses and learning materials and play ideas because your sub frenzy is unregulated and insatiable, it will make them feel less dominant and further reduce your chances of subspace. The more pressure and expectations you place onto your partner, the more disconnection there will be. In essence, the healthy submissive 
is interested in creating a dynamic that is fulfilling for both parties rather than using their submissive role as a means of subtly undermining and manipulating to gain power or control. So have you been there as a dominant? Feeling like you're trying to be open-minded and learn and slowly explore, but it's never good enough? Like no level of play can satisfy your submissive? Like you no longer have the right to be a human being with needs and desires because you will be forsaking your role? Like there will be big problems in the relationship if you don't keep up with your submissive partner's level of desire for kink? These are all signs that a pseudo submissive has been covertly manipulating the dynamic using a variety of methods, which we will get into more next week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.